What's going on YouTube, Cheap Master 55 here. Today bringing you guys a new deck profile on my Mass Hero variant. Um, this build concentrates a lot on OTKs as well as stunning your opponent. So, um, so they really can't play, especially with um, huge meta decks that are running around late right now, like Necros that have just been released or uh, Clee Forts, which are always adding cards. This card combats them crazily. So it's huge. this card alone is really what made the deck. Um, really powerful against the, the current meta, which of course is Necros, Klee Forts, even Burning Abyss. So it's really important to have that card. That card really made all the difference. But um, yeah, I'm going to go over this variant. Um, before I start things off, please remember to like, comment down below what you change or what you add, what you take out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Each subscription helps. I'm really trying to get back into making videos. So, without further ado, let's get into the build. I can talk about my choices and stuff. Uh, start things off with the obvious three Shadow Mists. Searching out those uh, mass changes can be super powerful when this card special summon. When it hits the grave, it can add an element to your monster from the deck to the hand. Of course, you can't use both effects in one turn, or this card would be ridiculously busted. But um, otherwise, it's still really good. Very balanced, very powerful card. So, of course, run three of that. I also run three elements of your bulk man. Some people don't like running three, but in this OTK heavy variant, I like running three. It makes Excalibur. Excalibur makes your um, your Miracle Fusions instantly live. It makes going for game that much easier. So I like running the three Bubble Man. Um, it can clog a little bit, but besides that, it's just awesome. And sometimes there's so many games where you're gonna be wanting the third, so it really doesn't hurt to have all three Bubble Man in the main deck. Moving on, two Neo Salius. 1900 is nothing to laugh at right now. Huge powerful monster that you can normal summon. Um, also, amazing access to the Shining as well as Koga. Um, two very powerful cards I'll go over when we get into the extra deck. Just an all-around amazing monster. Uh, two Neo Salius. Continuing on, we're on the two Summer Monk. Um, another card with in combination with Shadow Mist is just extremely powerful. Especially on that Shadow Mist to get that plus um, off the search is just awesome. Um, makes setting up your plays for your Dark Walls or your OTKs that much easier. Then I run one Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Um, this card is literally in here for one reason one reason only. That is to make uh, Mass Hero Diane, which I'll go over when we get to the extra deck. That's this card. It makes the OTK super live if you open with this card in Mass Change because um, Diane's effect, uh, I'll go over it once again when we get to the extra deck. It's just crazy and can make for some super extensive plays. And then I run one Goblin Bird. Because this card is searchable off reinforcements in the army, and if you open reinforcements in the army in Shadow Mist, which can happen quite often, you have a first turn play that'll search you out of mass change, which is really powerful. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't really want to run more than one though, because it does clog a little bit, and it is searchable, so it's your searchable target to make a first turn Shadow Mist play, um, getting that quick play spell. That's everything for the monster lineup, and let me move on to the spells. Running three mass change. The main card of the deck, super powerful, make huge pushes, huge plays, just a crazy card in general. Um, being able, It's like a metamorphosis for Elemental Heroes, summoning out a uh, mass hero from the extra deck. Moving on, play two form change. This um, shuffles back the mass hero that you just summoned and brings out another one on the same level, also triggering its effect. So, say you had a Dion on board, you form changed into an acid, you can be able to wipe that back row away, or vice versa. If you had the acid, you can send the Dion, swing over something to get that special. Oops, spoiler, before we get to the extra deck. But um, this card's amazing, super good for your going for game pushes. Um, basically, just makes going for game that much easier, getting even more damage on the board. Then of course I run the fourth mass change and the four mass change second. I think one is fine because you're already running three mass change and this is just a less good version for this deck because uh, you, the discard cost can be a little hefty sometimes. It can get um, dead monsters out of your hand so you can make a bone man play. But overall I think it's good at one and I want I would not want to go over one on mass change second. And finally, um, the mass change cards. One mass charge because this is an instant plus one if your graveyard is live for it. Um, this can be a king of the top deck cards when you rip this card, um, being able to add back, come right back into the game. This deck overall is just amazing with top decks. Mass Charge, uh, Miracle Fusion, uh, Bubble Man, the king of the top decks right here, this this card. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this deck has so many ways to come back, even from a losing position, this is one of those cards. I wouldn't want to run more than one though, because it, this card can clog if your graveyard's not live for it, so I think one is fine. Moving on from that, play three of Hero Lives. This card is 
super important. Paying half your life points on the first turn can be a really hefty cause, but um, if you open this in Summer Monk, of course you won't have to do that, you can get the same results. But um, Elemental Hero Shadow Mist is the search that you get off this, um, makes for the free plus, and it sets you up for a Dark Law play, or maybe even an OTK, which is just very important with this deck. Um, moving on, play the three, Miracle Fusion. Like I said, this is another one of those amazing top deck cards, um, bring you instantly back into the game. It's also amazing for the OTK, this card, having this in your opening hand, having it play with Bubble Man, making it exceed, and then uh, Miracle Fusioning off this, the attachments um, once they hit the grave. Make a shine and make an absolute zero, make a mat, and then mass change play, and before you know it, you already have over 8,000 on board, and you already, you already won. So, this card is crazy good. No reason not to play three. Moving on, three reinforcement of the army for our search power. I don't run any um, e emergency call. I think three rota is enough searching. Um, I, if I would, I I might put one in, but honestly, I don't think I would want to. Of course, I run this over e call because we do run the one Goblinberg, and it's a very important target to make. Of course, the Shadowless plays I talked about before, and uh, I definitely would run this over e call anytime. Um, moving on, got. 3 MST, we're in a format where Klees are easily the second most powerful deck, only second to Necros, because that deck is stupid. But um, MST, in my opinion, is still necessary at 3, just to combat that deck. That deck is super powerful, and if you don't have the Dark Law, you're going to have to stop that Scout Surge somehow. Um, I also played 2 Night Beam. Burning Abyss are playing more traps now, we got to respond with that. The Night Beams make our OTKs that much easier, wiping out that back row that uh, might give us problems. So, 2 Night Beam, definitely not a bad card. Um, next, um, for the one of the one soul charge, super powerful, everyone knows that, uh, single-handedly changed the format when this card was released, and it's at one now for a reason. Same thing with Rygek, if this card is super powerful, it was on the ban list for so long, why not play it when we can? Who knows, it might go back on someday. And the one robo-opportunista, easily the most broken card the currently legal in the game. That's everything for the spell lineup. Moving on to the traps, very small trap lineup, but like I said, these traps are for when you need to set up that first turn stun. Um, that, no better card for that than three vanities emptiness um, with a new reprint that looks gorgeous and super rare. Um, no reason not to run this card, this card's amazing. And of course, I like running one Solemn Warning. Um, just mostly to combat that Danko Sekka that you may run into, because once they normal summon that Danko, it can screw you over in so many ways with your Mass Chain set, your, your Vanity set. You gotta have a way to stop that. Um, the only problem with this, you're paying a lot of life points if you also resolve a hero lives in the same game. So that can be a little problematic, but this card, it's amazing. It's at one for a reason. It's such a powerful card. So that's everything for the main deck. Uh, now I'm gonna move on to the extra, talk about some of my choices there. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So starting things off, run uh, two Dark Law, the, easily the best card in the extra deck. Um, this card single-handedly made the deck um, what it is right now to combat the meta. This card making it against Shadow Halls, Burning Abyss, this card can be a one card win. Um, the amazing things this card can do is just fantastic. Um, it, this card was literally designed to combat the, our current meta. Necros loop those cards that they search. Uh, same thing with Khalif Fort. Um, Burning Abyss, Shadals, good luck sending yourself to grave. This card's gonna stop you. Dark Law is super powerful and it's just an amazing card all around. Also, run one Mass Hero Goka as a target for form change for Dark Law. Just in case you need to go for game, you have form change in hand, you have the Dark Law on the board. You have to go into something that's a different attribute. So, uh, Goka is a fine target, gains attack for stuff that's in the grave. Um, easy for going for game, so. I think it's a fine choice. Also, could use Vapor. They're both basically they serve the same purpose as a target um, for form change for uh, Dark Law. Moving on, uh, run one Master Acid. This is a card I want to consider bumping up to two because it's just that good. Going into this card is crazy, wiping out all your opponent's back row. And I'm sure the combo is very famous now with Absolute Zero, Master Changing it into Acid, wiping your opponent's board and back row. Just phenomenally crazy. Um, this card's crazy against Necro, uh, not Necro, excuse me, Cleefort. Wipe out the Pendulum Scale, wipe out any back row they have, just boom, 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 they're done. Super powerful card. So, one Mass Hero Acid, of course. Like I said, I consider bumping it up. Um, next Mass Hero, one Koga. 
Um, this is made by Mass Chaining, the Shine, uh, not, well, can be the Shining, the Shining or Neo Salius. Um, this card's another super powerful monster. Basically, you can get over a lot of problems except for the killer, the um, Cleave Four Towers. Uh, this card can be, um, depending on your opponent's board, it gets 500 for each monster they control. And it has a built in honest effect where you can banish a uh, elemental hero from your graveyard, and your opponent's monster loses attack equal to uh, the attack of the banished monster. You can get over a lot of problems, and this card, this can activate in the damage step, which is crazy. Really good in my opinion, so I love running the one Koga. Next um, card I was talking about before, one Mass Hero Diane or Diane, however you want to pronounce it. This card's crazy, opens up so much OTK potential with Wild Heart. Summon it, Mass Change into this, uh, swing over a monster, get that free special, that Shadow Mist, get another uh, Mass Change, swing, swing with whatever you Mass Change, activate a Form Change, you, before you know it, you already have game. Crazy powerful card. Um, now for the uh, Miracle Fusion targets. I run one is Squirdo. This card is a little iffy, but um, you want to have your Miracle Fusion live in any situation, depending on what monsters you have in the grave. That's too Shadowmist, so be it. You gotta have a target, you gotta have a Squirdo. This card is very powerful um, just because it's a target for Miracle Fusion, and you have to have your Miracle Fusions live, so Squirdo is very important in my opinion. Moving on, one Gaia, combination, I mean, uh, Elemental Hero plus Goblinburg, or uh, uh, Wild Heart uh, going to this guy. Gain some attack, he's okay, uh, just another target to be honest. One of the Shining, this card's where it's at. Um, uh, he gains attack for the banished heroes, and um, he starts off at 26, which is nothing to laugh about. He's basically at 31 once he hits the board, which is very powerful. And finally, the best one in my opinion, Absolute Zero. This card's crazy. Um, this is the fact that it can wipe away all your opponent's monsters when it leaves the field. That's under any circumstance, which is crazy, crazy good. So that's everything for the fusions. Um, move on to the exceeds now. Um, quick note, you cannot mass change second and exceed monster since it does not have a level and the card specifies that it needs the monster that you mass change has to have a, you have to summon something with a higher level than it. Uh, you cannot mass change second um, exceed monsters. So I thought I'd bring that up real quick. But um, anyway, jump into things. One Excalibur, this is the card that kills the killer. Um, Cleave Four Towers can be a problem. You want to solve it, you swing over with Excalibur. This is also the card that enables a lot of OTKs because it can make your, um, make your Miracle Fusions live. Um, and it goes up to a 4k body, which is not too shabby. Moving on, one of Evil Swarm Excite on Night. Uh, Self explanatory. Same thing with Castell, Guy Guy Cowboy, and Abyss Dweller. Uh, one quick side note, I want this Abyss Dweller to be a Lavable Chain. Once I pick one up, that's what it will be. But um, for now, I'm leaving it as it is an Abyss Dweller. So that's everything for this deck, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to leave your feedback in the comments down below. I really love hearing what you guys have to say. I uh, really appreciate all the feedback. Um, please don't forget to like, and um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and help me out a lot. I really want to keep making videos, so keep those subscriptions coming, and uh, we'll keep having videos for you. Um, that's everything. Uh, Chimas V5 signing out. Have a good day.